In this video, we are going to look at the shoulder relocation test for shoulder instability. Get our very own assessment ebook and mobile app. Links are in the video description. Hi and welcome to PhysioTutors. The shoulder joint has a tremendous degree of mobility, which renders it prone to instability. While muscle forces control stability in mid-ranges of motion, clinical instability presents itself at end range of motion. The instability becomes apparent when a patient has apprehension or fear of subluxation at end range of motion. The shoulder relocation test has a reported sensitivity of 64.6% .6 and specificity of 90.2% according to Hegedus et al. in 2012. It's a subsequent test to the apprehension test where when clustered together performs well in the diagnosis of anterior instability. As a standalone test, however, it has only moderate clinical value. The test is used when the patient has reported apprehension during the apprehension test. So the fear of subluxation when the patient's arm is brought into 90 degrees of abduction and added external rotation. There, the examiner gives an anterior to posterior directed pressure at the humeral head. The test is considered positive when the patient's fear of luxation is reduced after the AP pressure is applied. Okay, thanks for watching. The next test in the triage of tests for anterior shoulder instability is the release or surprise test that you can watch next. We have an extensive unit on shoulder instability in our online course that you can check out at the link in the description down below. If this video was helpful, please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to us if you haven't yet. This was Andreas for PhysioTutors. I'll see you in another video. Bye.